You're talking about a child that almost wanted to take his life. 13-year-old Samarian Humphrey is dealing with the scars of what he thought would be a fun slumber party with friends. His attorney says he had been bullied by a group of peers at school, but didn't think they would be at the party. Minister Dominique Alexander is with the social justice group Next Generation Network, which is now representing Samarian. When, when you see something like that to a child, um, you're horrified. You are outraged by it. Um, it makes you cry. The video shows boys making racial slurs, shooting him with BB guns, punching and slapping him, and appearing to show them making him drink urine. Kids don't have to be racist bigots. Um, kids don't have to display hate. Kids do not, this is, do not have to repeatedly say the words cry. Repeatedly, um, this was an act of hate. Um, this was an act of torture. Plano Independent School District Superintendent Sarah Bonzer posted this video message saying while bullying and harassment happened off campus, the district is investigating. We care deeply about our students, and our schools must be safe havens for our students. We are treating this situation with the utmost importance so that all students in Plano ISD feel safe and valued in our schools and in our community. The Plano Police Department says it's also investigating after a school resource officer took the report on March 3rd and said in a statement, quote, the detective and school resource officer will continue to work with Plano ISD officials to conduct a full and thorough investigation in an effort to identify any criminal offenses that might have occurred during and prior to this incident. His advocates are looking at legal options, working with the Texas legislature to demand districts are required to implement policies around cyberbullying, and Samarian has now received an outpouring of support, even from movie star Michael B. Jordan. Just seeing his smile, just seeing his joy, and seeing the fact that he's on a trajectory of getting past this situation. And I hope that this becomes what we call Samarion's voice, a voice for him and a voice for so many victims. Samarian's mother said she didn't find out about what happened until two weeks later after the video had been circulated around the school and said in a news conference that he had gone to trusted adults affiliated with the school for months to tell them he was being harassed and bullied. Rob?